Nestled in the Wasatch Mountains of Utah, Park City is a charming town that offers a range of activities for visitors throughout the year. Join Vucation as we explore some of the best things to do in Park City, Utah. Visit the Historic Park City Park City is a fascinating destination that offers a blend of history and modernity. One of the must-visit places is the historical Park City area, which showcases the city's rich mining heritage. It's filled with a delightful mix of boutiques, galleries, and restaurants that offer something for every taste. You can learn more about the town's past by visiting the Park City Museum, which features exhibits detailing the town's evolution from a mining town to a, to a popular ski resort. The free trolley that runs the length of the street is a great way to take in the area's sights and sounds while taking a break from walking. With souvenir shops, ski boutiques, and more, historic Park City has plenty of options for every type of shopper. You can also enjoy the historical statues that line the street and take advantage of the clean public restrooms. Ski at Deer Valley Deer Valley Resort is a top-notch ski resort that's earned a reputation as one of the best ski destinations in the U.S. Boasting over 20 chairlifts, 101 ski runs, and myriad lodging options, Deer Valley has something for everyone. The resort is home to more than 15 dining outlets, ranging from casual cafes to fine dining, making it easy to fuel up for a day on the slopes. The resort also provides amenities like mountain hosts, complimentary ski tours, overnight ski storage, and on-site childcare services. With one of the largest ski schools in the country, with over 500 instructors, beginners can learn from the best. Although Deer Valley is known as the Cadillac of ski resorts, offering impeccable service and cuisine, it can be quite expensive. Ski tickets should be purchased in advance, especially during the holidays. Snowboarders should note that the resort prohibits them from its slopes, but this policy is welcomed by many skiers. Enjoy the Guardsman Pass Scenic Drive for a breathtaking scenic drive in Park City, look no further than the Guardsman Pass Scenic Backway. This 14-mile drive into the Wasatch Mountain Range offers stunning views of wildlife, wildflowers, and fall foliage. The road connects Park City to Brighton or Midway, Utah, and is mostly paved except for a short gravel section in the middle. As you wind your way up to the summit area between Big Cottonwood Canyon and Park City Mountain Resort, be sure to bring your camera to capture the incredible views. Visit the Kimball Art Center The Kimball Art Center is a must-visit destination for art lovers and enthusiasts. It offers a variety of classes in painting, drawing, photography, stained glass, pottery, and other visual arts, with over 300 classes available. And the center features exhibits by regional and national artists throughout the year, showcasing some of the best artwork in the country. You can also attend the annual Kimball Arts Festival, a large event that attracts over 225 artists from all over the country. The center is a great option for visitors not interested in skiing and offers a variety of classes for children, too including a Lego exhibit in the gallery. Admission is free and it also has a gift shop. Ride the Alpine Coaster and Slide Park City Mountain Resort offers a unique experience perfect for the whole family, the Alpine Coaster and the Alpine Slide. These attractions are great for a summer adventure or a break from skiing in the winter. The Alpine Slide, only available during the summer, boasts a 3,000-foot track that feels like a luge. Meanwhile, the Alpine Coaster takes riders on an exciting journey through loops, curves, and turns on an elevated track, showcasing the breathtaking mountain scenery of the city. Both the Alpine Coaster and Slide are perfect activities for all ages and for the whole family. It's recommended to purchase a combo pass as both individual tickets and passes can be expensive. Ski at Canyons Village Canyons Village is a popular area known for its slope-side accommodations, dining options, and access to the Orange Bubble Express, the first bubbled, heated chairlift in the country. It was once the base area of the Canyons Resort, but merged with the Park City Mountain Resort in 2015, creating an interconnected skiing experience for visitors. The Quicksilver Gondola that connects the resorts offers spectacular views, but those with a fear of heights may want to avoid it. Advanced skiers will enjoy the Canyons runs, while Visitors to the village will appreciate the excellent service and dining options available. Ski-in, ski-out accommodations provide convenient access to the slopes, and the friendly ski school instructors offer a variety of lessons for all ages and skill levels. Have fun at Park City Mountain Resort 
Park City Mountain Resort is a dream come true for skiers, featuring an extensive range of amenities and services that make it the largest ski area in the U.S. The resort offers a whopping 7,300 acres of land with 41 lifts, 14 bowls, 8 terrain parks, and over 300 trails to explore. It's home to a licensed daycare center, a ski and snowboard school, and several ski-in, ski-out accommodation options, ranging from private homes and condos to hotels and lodges. One of the standout features is the Quicksilver Gondola, which allows visitors to easily traverse the mountain. And for those who need a helping hand, the Mountain Concierge Service is available to answer questions, book tours, or make dining reservations. While the pricing for lift tickets, accommodations, and dining can be steep, visitors are sure to love the sheer number and variety of ski runs available. Families are also likely to appreciate the resort's ski school, which can make a significant difference in a child's skiing experience. But the lower slopes can get crowded on weekends and holidays. High West Distillery and Saloon for a great dining experience in Park City, stop at High West Distillery and Saloon. Located in historic Park City at the foot of the Quitten Time Ski Run, this gastro saloon and distillery is the only one of its kind in the world. The saloon serves up delicious Western-inspired pub grub like bourbon braised short ribs, and they offer a variety of craft whiskeys and spirits made by the High West Distillery, located 16 miles northeast in Wanship, Utah. You can even take a complimentary tour of both the saloon and distillery. Visitors rave about the food and whiskeys, as well as the friendly staff. We recommend arriving early in the day before the Apres ski crowd fills up the place, since the saloon doesn't take reservations. Utah Olympic Park Utah Olympic Park is a historical site used for various events during the 2002 Winter Olympics and still functions as a training center for present and future Olympic athletes. The park offers a range of attractions free to visitors, such as the Alf Engen Ski Museum, the Eccles Salt Lake 2002 Olympic Winter Games Museum, the Discovery Zone Obstacles Course, the Mountain Challenge Course, and hiking trails. For an unforgettable experience, visitors can ride the Comet bobsled with a professional driver to feel the intense G-forces and high speeds that Olympic athletes experience. Even if you're not a skier, Utah Olympic Park is a must-see destination. The free museums are an excellent way to learn about the history of Utah's ski industry and the 2002 Olympic Games. Attend the Sundance Film Festival the Sundance Film Festival is a highly anticipated event in Park City that draws movie lovers from around the world. As one of the largest indie film festivals in the world, it's a great opportunity to discover unique and innovative films from both emerging and established filmmakers. It takes place across several locations, including Park City, Salt Lake City, Ogden, and the Sundance Mountain Resort. It offers a perfect chance to combine your love of film with other activities that Utah offers, like world-class skiing. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Park City, Utah? Do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.